Okay, dear students uh, here in the grammar class, today we are going to be speaking about the different types of stages. As you know, we have been speaking about, we've been talking in class about uh, how the connection between performer and audience is important. Well, there's different stages in different buildings and different theaters, and they have pros and cons. Um, and, Let's start with the first one, it's the proscenium stage, and you are very familiar with this stage because it is the one we have here at Fort Campbell High School. And the proscenium stage is probably the type of stage you will find uh, most common throughout the United States and around the world. Um, it's kind of like a movie theater where all the audience sits right across from the stage in what you know everybody's in one direction and it allows for many many changes of sets um, because if you look at these pictures here um, there's plenty of space behind the proscenium arch the proscenium arch is this area where the action of the play starts and you can see it here the opening of the stage and it's deep and it contains many curtains and it allows for um, lots of scenery and machinery to be employed as you can see in this example um, this is from the Wizard of Oz and or the musical The Wiz was based on the Wizard of Oz look at the scenery and look at the sets behind the performers. It's huge, it's spectacular, and that's possible thanks to the use of the proscenium theater. Um, the second type of stage that is not as common, it's called a thrust stage. And as you can see, uh, there's people sitting on all three directions, front, left, and right from the actors. Um, the thrust stage um, doesn't allow for as many changes or any changes at all depending on the play. Um, usually has a wall in the back part and some examples of what a um, thrust stage looks like. As you can see this one they're building the set or in the middle of the building. Um, we have here one that's for a concert, a piano, choir, and an acoustic wall. Here's an open one. This one has a proscenium arch, but there is barely any space behind it, so there's not too many changes that can happen. This is an example of a play uh, from William Shakespeare. Can you guess which one this is? It takes place in Italy. If you said Romeo and Juliet, you're right. So you can see there's no way of changing the scenes and if the stage thrusts towards the audience there should be audience on all three sides of the stage the next type is called the arena and the arena probably makes you think of sports venues like the Bridgestone arena where they play hockey and here in Nashville and you're right it's it, it, the Bridgestone arena is an arena a stage uh, where people are all around, it could be a circle, all around the performers or on four different directions, front, back, side, left and right. These are examples of uh, theater stages that are in arena configuration and some are circles, some are uh, more of uh, lines and triangles but they all have in common that the audience surrounds the performers. Now there's a drawback of this and it's that you cannot build walls or you'll be blocking the view from some of the audience members. Here's an example of a show where this is supposed to be a house and what they did, they have the outside of the house, they have front steps and then there is this small order to delineate the walls to represent the walls of the house and here's the interior of the house you can also notice that there's roof ceiling and hanging from the top just to give that uh, type of uh, perspective you might say as if it's a full house that they're representing the black box stage what is that 
The black box stage is a multi-functional theater that can be changed in configuration and the seats can be placed in any order you want. It can be in the middle, it can be in the outside, it can be uh, moved in any position that the, pro, uh, the set designer and the director can imagine. Okay, so the black box is like a warehouse, it's large, it has better nothing, the seats can be moved around. Um, you can use some, you can use all of them, and as you can see, you can have different configurations here. It's almost like an arena, but it can be changed around in creative ways. Here's an example of a play where the sitting in the black box is so close to the performers that it's as if the sitting was part of the action, like part of the scenery. And the audience can feel really close to the actors and the action.